Well, we're here for a media day as the Huskers have punched their ticket to the national championship match. What a special night. John Baylor here. He was on the call with it. How much fun was that Final Four to be able to call that one? Fun. I like winning. Yeah, winning is fun. You know, winning's underrated. And uh, the Huskers are doing a lot of that uh, this year, 33-1. and one. What was the key? What separated and what they did last night against Pitt to be able to sweep and, and really do what not very many people have been able to do to Pitt all year? Becca Alec. 12 blocks, kabooms, blocking them. <laughs> she was huge. And uh, huge kills by Harper, who had a big night offensively. But I just thought Nebraska just kind of, sort of incrementally wore down Pittsburgh. But the block was huge. And to get some blocks early and often against Texas will be key. You know, it seemed like, too, there were different moments that somebody stepped up throughout the match last night. And that's kind of been pretty, pretty much what this team has done all year, right? Whenever somebody's needed, they rise to the occasion. Harper's always taking big swings. Merritt's led the way. Those middles with big blocks. And if they're involved offensively, you know good things are happening. But the one you don't notice is Lexi Rodriguez because opponents design their entire game plan around avoiding her. But she led the team in digs yesterday. She's going to be huge against Texas. All right, let, let's talk about Texas. What about them? What, I guess, allowed them to beat Wisconsin when everybody probably had Wisconsin as the favorite and, and probably a shoe in to make it to the national championship match? This is absolutely the hottest team in the country right now. They just dismantled Stanford and made Wisconsin look a lot like Iowa. And uh, basically, Wisconsin couldn't pass the ball, and so they became really predictable. And so they just kept setting the outside. And Timmy Thomas Ilara and Sarah Franklin, National Player of the Year, just kept going cross court. And... Texas is a great sophomore uh, libero, and she just kept digging it. The Huskers cannot be predictable, which means you have to pass well. Got to own the middle, got to set the middle, got to set right, got to set back real, got to set left side, so their defense cannot get comfortable because, boy, were they comfortable yesterday against uh, Wisconsin. It was kind of like uh, Devaney, the Bob, what, what, what is this, East, Southeast, right? I mean, it was, there were so many Husker fans everywhere. It was loud. What was your take on just the way that Husker Nation showed out down here? It's a doggone Husker mixer. I mean, if you show <laughs> up here single, not for long. I mean, it's just like you wander around the concourse. It's just GBR, GBR. It's pretty sweet. People travel well, and we don't bicker. You know, we get along. It's like, hey, how's it going, GBR? Um, it's pretty special to see. This is kind of our bowl game, right? And uh, this is a uh, – never underestimate the impact – Nebraska volleyball's following has on this culture, on the recruiting, the talent that ends up here, because you, everyone wants to be important, right? And Nebraska volleyball fans make sure that anyone affiliated with the program knows that that is the case with them. I know it would have been fitting to have Wisconsin and Nebraska, but how fitting is it to have Texas and Nebraska? Well, I sort of equate Nebraska Wisconsin volleyball with Nebraska Oklahoma football in the old days built on respect, a little bit of fear, grudging respect, and Nebraska-Texas volleyball with Nebraska-Colorado football from the old days where there's a fair amount of animus, which is like a nice way of saying it's an, uh, it's an, there's a lot of animated emotion uh, from both sides. Sometimes Texas will downplay it. No, no, they care about Nebraska, and I know the opposite is true. You ready for another national championship match? I mean, as a play-by-play -play guy, this is your dream, right? To be able to call on, on this stage. How excited has it sunk, sunk in that you get to call another one? Oh, it's so fun. I mean, what a, what a privilege. So I think about it a little more, but I hope it's not going to divert a whole lot from, you know, what I might do on the road in East Lansing in the middle of October. But you think about the pregame, you think about the postgame, and i got to think about how many national championship matches I've called. I'll have that figured out. But, uh, of course, championships, I've called five. I hope it'll be six championship matches. I got to figure that out, but we could be up to about 10 or 11. So what a privilege. Speaking of that, so the pregame show is on at 2 o'clock Central time, yes. right? 3 o'clock will be the, the match set time, but you guys have a full hour pregame show just like you have all season long, and, and it's going to be a good one. Uh, yes, I will not be going into my middle school hobbies. We're going to get good guests, and, you know, this is our 14th Final Four in the last 30 years. Just think of that. I mean, it's just sort of a – an annual tradition almost every other year. So, uh, yeah, we'll have fabulous guests. Hopefully a few dignitaries are still in the crowd. We'll come grab them and throw them on the pregame. But just be there sending positive psychic energy all Sunday afternoon. All right, again, 2 o'clock Central Time is the pregame show. 3 o'clock is match time. And, again, appreciate John Henrys for sponsoring our postseason content all season long. For John Baylor, I'm Jessica Cootie.
Well, here with Lainey Choboy coming off the big win last night. How was practice today? It was great. It was really cold in the gym, so the ball was moving a lot. And it took us a long time to warm up, um, but we're just super excited and have a lot of energy going into Sunday, so we're just ready to get at it. How much fun was it being able to celebrate with this team and get to the national championship match to punch that ticket last night? My gosh, I just keep saying that we've had so many goals this year that we've set and we've hit every single one of them and we have one goal left. So we're just going to do everything in our power to make that last one come true. And I just think winning last night felt so amazing, but we're not done yet. I have to ask you about Husker Nation and just the way that they showed out for you guys. The greeting when you got off the bus, but then just how loud it was in here. Uh, how much did that fuel you guys? Yeah, I would say the greeting off the bus was honestly an eye opener. We knew that Huskers travel. We knew that they'd be here, um, but seeing how many red shirts were in that crowd was just insane how much love that we get from the community um, they showed out last night they gave us energy we fed off of it and it was just so appreciated we wouldn't be here without them so you got Texas now what goes into you guys kind of preparing over these next couple days to be ready to go yeah we know Texas is super fiery and they have a lot of weapons um, so I just think that we need to stick to our game we've been training all year for this um, and we play so well as a team so I think that that's going to be super crucial going into the game knowing that they might try to get us an, as an out-of-body experience, but we're just going to do what we can, do what we know how to do, and stick to that. Just everybody embracing their role and doing what they have to do. Uh, how special, how much has that been a part of what this team has done and, and being able to get to where you are? You talk about those goals, but just the way that you guys embrace, even yourself, the role that you've embraced, mm -hmm. how much has that been a part of why you guys have been able to, to get here? Yeah, and I think that's been a huge part. We've had um, some difficulties along the way, just like knowing how to, accept that role, um, but I think that each person being so able to do that is really why we're here right now, and just putting the team first has been just something we've talked about all year, and I think that that's a huge reason why we're here right now. Great stuff, Lenny. Appreciate it. Yes, thank you.